the Olite X6 Marauder. This is an incredible 5,000 lumen flashlight. And we're going to take a look at this light. This is much brighter than most of your car headlights. Now the first thing you're going to notice is this separate battery pack. And this is something that's really unusual. And to be honest with you, at first, I was like, wow, this looks like something out of Star Wars. Separating the battery is that you have less weight on the flashlight itself. The light itself weighs two and a quarter pounds. But when you pick it up, because of the way of the handle, it's very lightweight and maneuverable. To add the battery to that, which weighs another one pound, that would be three and a quarter pounds. And if you're on some kind of patrol or you're in a search and rescue situation, that could really get heavy in a hurry. It has a really nice handle. And one of the things about this handle is that the, the power switch is right here on top. It features six XML Cree LED lights. The lens itself is a mineral coated lens that is highly anti-reflective. You're getting 99.9% .9 of the luminosity out of this light. The reflectors are a nice polished uh, orange peel design, all six of them in one head. The battery pack is a rechargeable battery in itself and it does have a nice connector. Uh, the cord will stretch up to a meter so it gives you some distance to be able to stretch your cord. It is very heavily secured right here. It's actually a screw-on security so it's not going to pull loose. Now here you can see the connectors. It's a three-prong connector. It fits directly in and then you just screw the two pieces together. Now you have to go ahead and initiate the battery pack before you can turn on the light. And right here is the activation switch and as you can see it's on high. Now it also does normal and then when it gets to low. When it gets to low you're going to really want to go ahead and recharge your battery because it will go down quickly. But typically it will stay normal. I've actually been using this quite a bit and it still remains on high. Then when you shut it down, it goes through the sequence. Now to give you a better look at the switch, it's very ergonomic. Where you're holding your hand, it's a natural point to be able to turn the light on. This is at 150 lumens. Now to increase the intensity and to go into your next mode, just hold down the light. That goes, that's 1200 lumens here. And then we're going to go to the 5000 lumens. Now, you can't really get a full idea of how bright this is because of the adjustment in my camera. And we're going to look at some outside photos as well. And then you shut it all the way down with just one click. Now, to get the strobe, you just double click once it's on. And then we have the strobe mode. And that is, that gives me a headache. <laughs> now, on the low setting, which is 150 lumens, you're going to get 30 hours of power out of a fully charged battery. Once you go to the 1200 lumens, you're dropping it down to four and a half hours. This is still a very bright light and really great for just everyday use. Now, at 5000 lumens, you're looking at an hour and 15 minutes. And really, for that length of time with that much power, that's just incredible. Of course, it has everything to do with this battery pack. Now, the entire body of the flashlight and the rechargeable battery pack itself has a rubber coating that has 20% carbon fiber. So it's, it's rubberized and it's very comfortable to the hand, very smooth, but it's not sticky and it has a lot of rigidity. The handle itself is very secure onto the light, makes it really nice to be able to carry without having to carry it solidly like this grip. If you're doing a lot of uh, a long-term uh, search and rescue or looking for something or using it in certain situations you really need for it to be very comfortable to handle and that's one of the reasons why the battery pack is separate because it really cuts down on the weight it's going to make a big difference if you're carrying this thing around for a couple of hours or even all night for that matter now you can see the cooling fins right across here and then it has panels that are the rubberized panels that are all the way around these cooling fans get up to 140 degrees, so this will protect your hands, or 60 degrees Celsius. These will protect your hands and keep them from getting burned, because it will get hot. As many of you know, the Cree LEDs do generate a lot of energy, and thus they get really hot. As I've said, this is a rechargeable battery, and so you do have your recharging plug here. It's also in two pieces. Of course, to recharge the light, just remove this little rubber boot. You can place your adapter right in, 
plug it into the wall and you're ready to go. There's also a way to change this to AC as well, to be able to use this. I'm personally wanting to use this in my car. I'm going to carry it in my truck. Uh, I do want to get a converter to be able to use this. There is a way also coming up to be able to directly attach this to the battery or to an adapter that you have connected to your battery. I know when Marshall was at the SHOT Show, David Chow had mentioned that they were developing a magnetic mount, which I think is awesome. And that's one thing that's going to draw us to our next point, is that there's a mounting bracket right here. And the mounting bracket, actually, a magnet will be able to be fitted onto here, and you can just put it on your vehicle directly. Now, a really cool feature about this light with the mount is that you can put it on a tripod. It does the standard one quarter inch ring that you would put on. In fact, I have it on my video camera. So this will work. That way you can adjust it, you can move the angle, and then you can, you can hit a certain area and leave it there for extended l searches, especially for something small or something where you need a lot of light for a while. The extreme distance on f with 5,000 lumens is 640 meters. And when I show you some of the footage that we took down at the beach this past uh, week, hitting a hotel and really just brightening up the whole side of the building. It was incredible. All right, that's 5,000 lumens against the side of that hotel, but you can see that's 200 yards off and we're getting a lot of flood out here. I mean, it really lights up that entire area. Incredible. Now it is rated for IPX6, which means that it's not submersible, but it can, it can withstand a direct jet stream of water. So this is going to handle the elements, you're just not going to want to drop it down into to water, into a pool of water. And it's also rated to be able to be dropped at a meter for impact resistance. Okay, here we have the M6. We're going to do a little testing here at the house. Uh, at low, this is 150 lumens. Uh, the sign you see up there is about, it's about 50 yards off. Okay, now we're going up to 1200 lumens. Very bright, good spotlight, a lot of flood. Look in front of me, and I'm shining up a hill. Okay, there's the 5,000 lumens. It lights up this entire area. I mean, my entire front yard is lit up. The trees are all lit up like daylight. Here's 150 lumens up the street. You can see the reflectors. We're going to go to the second setting. 1200 lumens all the way up the street. Here's 5000. In fact, if I put it here, it's too bright to even focus on. That is incredible. Top of that hill is about 250 yards. And it's shining on the house up there. Here we are at the low setting, 150 lumens. Fence is about 25 yards ahead of me. Have the trees in the background. All right, we got 1,200. You're already seeing that this is super bright. And then we'll go to the 5,000. As you can see, this whole area right here is lit up. And it's really too bright. Once that light hits something, it's the reflection is just too bright. Okay, here we are at 150 on the low setting. Uh, we're talking about probably 75 yards to that tree line down there. Bump it up, medium setting. You can see the trees. Okay, we're at the bright setting. Let's get the top of these trees right here. It's just an intense light. This is a really large field right here, and it lights up the entire area. This is down a beach. I mean, that's incredible, incredible light. Okay, here we have it on, this is on the lowest setting. So this is on dim. There we go, that's the second setting. Now, we're getting, I mean, we're getting about, we're 
probably getting about 200 yards out there, even in this misty seawater. Okay, give it another push. Okay, now we've got the brightness. All right. Now, we're, we have a tropical storm coming. You can see the spotlight. Just incredible. I mean, it lights up this entire beach area. In fact, the camera's not even picking it up. Okay, here we have them heading this way. That's at 5,000 lumens. Now this is a demo model, so I didn't get the case that comes with it. It comes in a really nice aluminum case, which Olight does a lot of times. A really great presentation case. Uh, as you can see, there's also a strap that comes with it, and there's strap rings that'll fit here and here. So you can use this as a shoulder strap around your shoulder and then be able to use it. And that even makes it more uh, able to maneuver it and to carry it for an extended period of time. Now you can find the X6 at GoingGear.com. Marshall has a ton of different flashlights. In fact, over 400 different types of flashlights. And also you get a 10% discount using Such in the coupon code. And then two, anything over $49 gets free shipping. Now obviously this flashlight isn't for everyone, but it is an incredible 5,000 lumen flashlight that can really help in a dark situation. Whether military police, search and rescue, fire, or a good sheepdog application. The X6, it will meet the task. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Let's get these nerds in the way. Here we go. Yeah, let's get the light off. So here we've got some real... Now these are my helpers. A little bright. My nephews. Well, it's a good thing I have my light with me because I lost my cigar twice. Because I'll set it on my tripod and then I move it and forget about it. You know, I really believe the power of this light. I think this thing can light this cigar.